Dog, I wanna try. I saw no one look woman. Anyway, she show me it. I would just have a good laugh off of the two of them. No, you hear me? Yeah. I'm out. Okay, boom, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know the thing's set. We're blessed. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. But there's a few trending topics I see popping in the answer that we need to discuss. Not in any particular order. So just watch at the end of the video so you don't miss a thing. Obviously, we want to kick it off with Dancehall King Vibes Cartel, who's outside. And you know the people them is making a bag of nice, as you can hear in the beginning of the video. Everybody seems um, to want to break up this happy couple, you feel me? And it seems like Cartel now nah, Lego. Him sure, you see my ass, uh, them I try to get sit them for Lego him, you know what I mean? So him put on him caption, you know, you know, S, your mother waste boy, and S, your mother bad man, you feel me? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. People have to keep it right. Dance our King Vibes Cartel is, you know, um, them SE, you know what, simple. You see, master. Um, so it's gonna be um, natural for him to have a dolly, a sit on in my lap, and all of this stuff. You see, master. Dance our artist different from hip hop artists. You feel me? <laughs> Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But let us give you that update while going for the go on. People is trying to break up this relationship. Yeah, hard, Bobby. Anyway, let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, the next trending topic I see has to deal with Shensia and Rami. Shisima says, Shensia. Um, the people them says, out here copying Jay the Kingdom. So let's take a look at the video in question and then we'll give us an honest opinion. Yes, put in the comment section if you agree with what the people them is saying. Honestly, people, <laughs> the Dali them has been doing that for the longest in these tripper clubs, you see, Marissa. Uh, but we know, sir, we see Jada Kingdom must swipe it heavily from what they are, yeah, you see me. So, I'm just uh, giving them outlook there, you know what I mean? So, let's proceed um, to the next topic. Because, you know, Ramesh get exposed again, <laughs> you see, Marissa, this time by, you know, one of his ex, you know, partners. World dog, you know, basically the same thing that everybody has said. I'm bad, mad mind, and I use people, but Ramesh said, I lied in my turn. Work 24 7. That's why I'm not too good. Like, because sometimes it's cheap, I'm just talking about things, but you have to love people, man. Make them talk, man. Because I'm telling you, say, blessing, follow, blessing, follow, blessing. Wait, that you never hear me that ask. Well, you would have find so much time to do so much things to people. No, but remember, what I'm saying, though. Remember, my buy is chain music. Right. My buy is views. Right. My buy out social media. Yeah, buy out. Buy out. Yes, we start. You're making the time. We stop, now. right? We stop playing um, other people's every, music. We play Every DJ fear. don't play. Right. We tell corporate company, don't sponsor. Mm -hmm. We never know we could have done it. Me either. <laughs> you're bad. I and mean, uh, sometimes you can't even get carpet company to sponsor. <laughs> sponsor I mean, yeah. I mean, but me I tell them don't sponsor. What well, man? That's what all else that you do? What else you do? I never right? see a man mix up. You come like a girl. Put in the comment section if you agree with Ramesh. Everybody just uh, use him for X, Y, and Z. Remember, Spice, TJ. Um, now we're seeing you know who. Ugly Dan. I know world. I'm not world. I was uh, world. I guess him what I say. Is everybody lying on him? No. That's why we named him Mashmore Boy with the Big Belly Dress Mecca Style. Is it? Yeah, let's proceed. Now, I want to give my honest opinion on this Brownfield situation. As you know, me love my melanin people. With that being said, people, I think this relationship might be fake. This is my answer because me not understand why she have to go the asylum route. You know what I mean? And that's what Dancehall fans is saying, track and field fans out of Jamaica is saying that she's using, you know, our arrogance, our ignorance. Um, you know what Spice said with black hypocrisy as a means to, you know, you know, show, you know, America that you see, that my old for me. You know what I mean? I want to put in the comment section when you think about that because it looked like say, she wants to, I would say, ride but run for the other side. You feel me? People, let's keep it a hundred. If she never spilled the secrets to her man, 
um, who let the world know, it wouldn't be an issue. You know what I mean? If she wants to pillow talk, that's one thing. But, you know what I mean? As a man, him shouldn't jeopardize him, woman, and letting, you know, the world know, well, you know, she told the secrets. Because we know when she go to America, no, all the new coaches, them is going to know all of the secrets. You see my answer? But when I start giving an update, well, go on, go on, put in the comment section where I think about that. Because she said, you know, she in a fear. So that's why she gone to America for the interview. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What happens to the Jamaicans that live in America that feel the same way as the one on the island? And that is the bigger question. Yeah, let's proceed to the next. Now time for some important news. As you know, the birth rate is declining in Jamaica for a number of reasons. One, um, you know, nowadays, um, you know, adults in Jamaica, you know, them can't have a hundred pitney like you know, we're parents it back in the day because, you know what I mean, you know, I guess the money not right. Just to sum it up, you see my answer. And you know, the major other reasons, well, you know, they dally them, no one, they can them no more, and they can them, no one, they dally them no more. Can one, can and dally one, dally so. Let's listen to this lady's um, advice on the situation at hand, and we'll proceed at the end. I've been wanting to make this video for months now and today I just had to put the time aside because the message is so very, very important. As a matter of fact, it is a warning and it is simple. Jamaican women need to start having children and they need to start having children now. And I didn't say should or want or anything like that. I said need. Jamaican women need to start having children or else we are going to suffer. Right? And I'm not talking about Jamaica suffering in the macro aspects of it. We'll talk about the economy, etc. I'm talking about you and I. There's going to be pain and suffering. So let me just kind of break this down for you. Jamaica's birth rate has fallen to 1.9. Now for a society to have a stable population, they need a birth rate of 2.1 or at least two children per woman, right? Now, what this means for us is that we are going to very, very soon have a chronic shortage of people in our population. So when we talk about 30, 40 years from now, we're going to have a huge issue because with all that has happened in society and all our liberation, etc., the biology of man has not changed. And so it is still once a man and twice a child. And so when it is that we get older, 30, 40 years from now, those of us who are, you know, 35 and 30 and over 40, that sort of thing, then we are not going to have any caregivers, yeah? Now, this is a problem that many countries have been facing, and the more developed countries, they have found ways of coping. But I dare say to you that these coping strategies will not work for us because we are a small poor country. And so whereas Canada and the U.S. could find ways to import labor so that they could have caregivers for the elderly, we won't be able to import labor because Jamaica just does not have the pull factors necessary to pull a person from the yard to come to Jamaica to come and look after our elderly as caregivers. It's as simple as that. We don't have it. You understand what I'm saying? And so, if it is that we are going to have persons later on, nurses, if we're going to have doctors, if we're going to have people just to help us when it is that we're at our worst to give us a drink of water, we need to start having children so that we can have caregivers. Now, I know many persons will misconstrue this message to say, oh, so we must just have children so we can have caregivers. Yeah, I know persons will say that, but I will say to you, that if we do not give up ourselves right now so that we can have children and spend time to grow and nurture and love them, when it is that we are going to be in need of nurturing and caring, we will have nobody. It's as simple as that. And no matter how we want to postulate and posit and talk about what should be, the reality of it won't change. Yeah, life is as it is. And I will say to you that there are others that are asking me, why am I speaking to the women? Why am I talking to the men? Yeah, because there are many, many women, if they find the right man, a man that is a good man, that proves himself to be a protector and a provider, even if they're not wealthy, they would have the children and they would move forward. It is just that there is such a chronic shortage of men like these. Yeah, so they're saying, talk to the men, don't talk to the women. But I have to speak to the women. One, because women are the ones that have children. And two, when we think about the persons who will sit and think about the future, who are planning about what's going to happen to their lives, you know, when they're 65 and 70, it's not men. 
most men don't look past them nose. You know, there are some out there that don't even intend to live past 40, even though they are living to 70 and suffering. They're not thinking about it. It's women who are thinking about it. And so I have to get the message to women to say, hey, we have to find a way to start having children. We have to change this psyche. We have to change this particular view that, you know, I'm choosing happy, so I'm not going to have children. Much down that lie. When it, did it become that children will automatically mean that your life is going to change for the worse? That has not been my experience at all. At all. You understand what I'm saying? Nor is it true that you have to be wealthy to have children. When did we get to the point that where we believe that our rich childhood is the only good childhood? No, I will say to you that I try my best to give my children all that I can. You understand? And so, you know, the things that they are able to do, I didn't even dream of. But that doesn't mean that they're happier than I was. They might be as happy as I am, but me can tell you. That they aren't more loved than I was. That they aren't as, you know, more happy than I was growing up. And I, I was blessed as a child. I was loved. I was supported. And we were poor. We were not wealthy. And so I'm not saying that we ought to be poor and have children. I'm saying plan for our children. I'm saying that if you are 25, your next 10-year plan must include two children because we're going to need children and therefore adults later on unless... If we don't get that, sorry, we're going to suffer pain and suffering. And if you're 30 and 35, you're living in your future right now, you need a three-year plan. You understand what I'm saying? To have children. Yeah? And so I don't know if the solutions that I can give to you as to how we're going to get to the point where women are having children are going to be the best solutions. Yeah, but at least the conversation needs to start that persons with brighter minds than I, you know, bigger brains than I can come up with this sort of solution that can save us from ourselves. Because the norms and values that we're developing right now, where we are against childbearing and against child rearing is going to lead to suffering. You know what I'm saying? Me and you physical, because remember, we are living longer and dying slower. And when I say we're dying slower, it's because we're having this whole heap of ailments, yeah? So even though we are alive, we're not really living. We are just dying and we're going to need persons to assist us. And if we don't have children, when we say pain and suffering. And so I'm saying today, spread the message far and wide. I am saying if you're 25, 26, 27, 28, if you're 35, it's urgent. The time is now. Jamaican women need to start having children. You understand? And if you're against this message, say something. You know, as my friend will say, come fight me. Because at least then the conversations would begin and we can start getting to a point where we have solutions because there is a change that is necessary. I had forgotten to add that those of us who believe that we're fine because we're putting money away for our care when we get older need to also remember that with the scarcity of labor, the price of care is going to be so high that the little pension that you have won't be able to afford you care. Yeah, because there are so many of us that are comfortable that, okay, fine, I don't have any children, but I have the money that I will be able to get somebody to look after me. Who? nobody not having children either so who are you going to pay and just how are you going to afford it yeah we need babies in bellies that's all i'm saying here we need to start discussing what are the ways what are the solutions what are the things that we need to be putting in place over the next two three four five years so that we can get babies in bellies and children that are loved and nurtured and grown into adults that can give that same sort of nurturing and loving when it is needed Yes, put in the comment section where you think about that. Like I said, you know, they dolly them one, they dolly them and they can them one, they can them. Anyway, we're not going to at this again. You see, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I wrap the latest. Let's.